Welcome back guys, how are you all doing? My name is Marks and this is Dave Ant Season 2, Episode 7. Last episode we said this one was going to be less farm building and more building building at least for the most part um and i've kind of already broke that because i already went ahead and built a farmy farm and yes farmy farm is the technical term for them but in terms of for today the plan is to kind of revitalize the rest of this at least where people's rooms aren't so like that's raven's room she's mostly copied the the window and I did anyway um but just kind of like the rest of it and get rid of some of all this dark oak and sort the they bound headquarters out up here because this room just here with the map in we go inside is meant to be uh, pretty much just like a office sort of thing I guess uh, so this room needs entirely just doing I suppose because uh, it's kind of bland and boring. What on earth happened there? Uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to jump straight into that. Hopefully get this room revitalized. Get the mansion revitalized. And it will hopefully look a little bit better than it does right now. Uh, so some rooms will stay the same. A bunch of stuff on this side will stay. Because one people live in these rooms. But also there's kind of a bunch of mountain here. Um, so there's not too much in changing an awful lot because well people won't see anything uh, but the inside can still be done it's just yeah these these bits are there's not too much point doing too much on like the edge of the walls and stuff like that so hi there and um, let's jump straight into that shall we and head on some walls of this mansion bit of time later and we have our mansion redo um so i did only show the front part here in the time lapse just because it was kind of awkward to do the entirety of it mostly because half of it's in a mountain and it's a little bit tight to do um some of those shots and it just would not look very good so it made sense to just show you guys after and i think the best way to do that actually is going to be with Freecam. So I'm going to jump up on this hill over here, hop into Freecam. You stay there. So you've seen this side uh, and this angle. And this basically only stretches around, um, for the most part, communal areas within the mansion. I've done one or two um, non communal areas, in terms, it's pretty much just these rooms at the top. Um, so anything that's on this level, that's shops and, and whatnot, uh, I've stayed as they are. So that's Salty's room, so I've not touched that. Same with Hoodies. So he changed this top row here, which I've done to Spruce. All I did was, on the edge, adding bits I have up to the point where his shop started. Um, and again, we've just got these windows along the bottom just here, just so it's not a full blank wall. And we've actually brought some of the land from down here. So we're going to terraform this down into this area here. Um, probably bring it down to about this level here, maybe. Maybe a little bit higher, just so it's 
again, it's a little bit higher up, and we've got plans that involve the mountain over there with that. Yep, then if we go inside, we have completed the ceiling entirely. Hoodie's shop is now called Lull instead of Lol. Although that's not actually the name of the shop, it's called Mangrove. Mangrove Groove, so Mangrove. Um, all the, all the floors on the walkways are, are fully complete, so we've got the ceiling done as well, as I've just said. Then coming through here, into this room, I just did the inside of these windows rather than this side because unless you really have a good look, you can't see it and you're not going to see it from the outside anyway. Uh, but I did do these ones for some reason, so, you know, I don't know, go figure. Um, again, the this, this is supposed to be a room for someone, this would be a, again, same, you know, they could be shops, they could be rooms. Then the best one is this just here. So this is what is going to be our HQ, our office. Um, so I've just decorated this out, put in a bit of a table, like a meeting table. Uh, we've got the Granville Mart wall there. There is supposed to be a painting here. I just didn't quite get around to that. Um, and then we've just got like a few lights stands around and then we've just got like the, the leftover stock and stuff up here for the redo of the mansion or whatever. So this is just like a storage area that's full of dust and cobwebs and whatnot. Uh, amazingly completely spawn proof. All the light that comes from the, the thing below it, aside from a carpet that you probably can't see just there, um, keeps it good. So yeah, that's that's the mansion we do. But we're not finished with building stuff here just yet. You see, now we've got the tree farms up and running, or at least most of them. We need more storage because we're, we're running out. We're running out of storage for well, we run out of storage for ourselves in, in there. Um, but we need more wood storage because I want to do leaves as well. And it just makes sense. Like we could have the leaves inside there. And then, well, let's just build what we're going to build and you, you'll see. So the leaves inside and then um, the logs elsewhere. So let's crack into another time lapse. <laughs> So we built what we were going to build, and yes, it is a sail punk type shit thing. I, I, don't, I don't know what word to use to describe it. It's a flying ship, essentially. Um, and we had some really weird, like, invisible blocks in the time lapse while we were building it. We were like halfway up through building that, and you just couldn't see anything, so it looked like I was flying. Really weird. Didn't notice it until like halfway through. It was completely bonkers and um, but yeah we've got loads and loads of storage well i say loads and loads we've got a fair bit of storage on here now i basically gone around and done more or less like four single chests or barrels in half the case for all the woods so we've got like all the overworld woods up here i believe so we've got one two three four five six up here yeah and then we've got one in here um and then a few more in here. Uh, I was planning on probably like bone blocks or something just there in case anyone wanted to build it, be build with it or anything like that, just because we've got the moss farm, which doubles as a bone meal farm. Kind of made sense to have it. Um, and I may get, I'm thinking possibly like shroom lights in here as well. Maybe uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see when, when we get around to building the nether farm because we've not built that one just yet. But not only did we do this, and, and we've got the, like the, the weird chain rope anchor thing here, which is essentially just our way of getting in to the shop, pretty much. Um, but yeah, not only did we do that, um, we, all, we also went along and, and brought up all the, the ground here to level with the mansion, just so we didn't have this giant recam time cobble wall just here um so as you can see we, we've just uh, raised it up a little bit brought it up to this level 
and that will help with our plans to do a path that goes kind of up that way to the mountain and either through or over her or something that's going to lead to the bridge i believe that we we talked about um a couple of episodes ago or last episode or something we talked about a bridge and um and then yeah the bridge leads to the other island and and links me my island up to here But the thing now kind of it, it kind of leaves us with a problem because we've got all this and we actually one need to farm the wood, um, which means we need more TNT for the mangrove farm. But it also means that we need nether wood, which we don't have. Oh, someone. Oh. <laughs> I have been cold. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I was going to say my door's open. I, I've I've got some money. Someone someone's been and bought some stuff because everyone seems to leave the door open. But no, I I have been attacked with this horrendous block that I am sworn off for this season. Oh, there's so much of it. Oh, it's gross. So. This could be anyone. Actually, yeah, this could be anyone. Everyone knows that I'm that I'm off call this season. Um, just because of that nether instant, I I I sworn off it. So I don't know who this could have been. I mean, it could have been Sassy getting back for me, giving him his mustache. But then in Swarmy's latest episode, he did have a bit of a jibe at me about the whole coal incident. Um, because he was breaking bedrock and yeah that whole thing came up again hmm I, I need to try and find out who this was there's not there's no hints with it it's literally just all in my room and there's only really one thing I can do with this well and that's just, well burn it did I get one I did so you come and uh, that one that one it's quite a bit of coal I mean, whoever did this is is about to lose out on a, a good chunk of coal. Is only out here. Let's do it outside? No. Okay, so it's just inside. Um, I can't even say thanks for the coal because I'm not using any coal. Did they buy anything at least? No, that, that looks like a no, and I don't have those yet. Well, they didn't even buy anything, so they brought me coal and didn't buy a single thing. Oh man, what, what's it coming to? They prank you, you, they don't buy anything. Oh, it's just not on. But as I said, there's only one thing I can really do with this coal. So we're going to come down here to my disposal. Well, it's not my disposal area. Yeah, I guess it is my disposal area. So so we got this wheat farm here for when I was doing the mud for for all all this. Um, and I had too many seeds. So I made a bin. Yeah, the coal's gone. I'm, I'm now coal free. No more, no more of that dirty stuff. Right, so yeah, as I was saying before I got rudely interrupted and sidetracked by coalification of, of my room, uh, we need the we need the words um, nether stem farm, which means we need more netherite. Um, actually, wait, no, do we need more netherite? I think it uses like 19 and I got... 30, which is why I've all of a sudden got like netherite tools. So yeah, I've got I've got enough. But we're we gonna use Ray Works Farm, which um Impulse built in like season six of Hermitcraft, and uh it I think it's pretty good at, at getting like the shroom lights and stuff. It's supposed to be self-sufficient, but we want to get the shroom lights back, and because we've got the moss farm, it shouldn't be an issue. But I don't think that's gonna happen in today's episode, guys. I think what we're gonna do is leave this one where it is. And continue next episode with finally getting onto some base work and building that never the stem farm and uh getting this place stocked that might happen a little bit between episodes so i'm gonna be honest so if you made it this far thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time ciao for now bye bye